jump into move of the week. I'm going to pull it up here, Juan. Well, guys, uh, simple. Um, during uh, Thai boxing, which is a very different discipline from uh, what we see <clears throat> last week, uh, we present the wrestling and the jiu-jitsu aspect. However, uh, during the mixed martial arts, uh, uh, Jay and I knows that uh, it, it is a mix and we need to have a stand-up uh, arsenal. To point it out, we have a combination. Um, I would recommend a long stretch before a start. Uh, maybe you could elevate your temperature and your body, maybe jump in the rope. Um, nice little walk, perhaps uh, jogging. Or if you really want to bring out like a good exhalation and get your lungs to start to work, uh, you could do like a light, light running. Don't run springs though, you know, I recommend to keep it uh, more focused on uh, small things, you know. Uh, well, after the warm up, you could start putting your hand wraps, then do a small stretch, maybe like 10 minutes, and then start attacking. Uh, I cannot see, well, okay, uh, let's wait. Right now, start and then go jab cross, round kick, uh, out to work elbow, over the top elbow. Um, simple. Um, get to work the distance management. Guys, don't get too close to each other. Uh, when you're placing the, the hook, check the protection is on the ribs and uh, we, we're working on uh, mobility, mobility on the hips, making sure it, everything is uh, on coordination with the um, lateral movement. And um, yeah, afterwards, uh, I, I perhaps uh, recommended to do it uh, three rounds, three, three, three minutes round, perhaps, or could be three rounds, five minutes. And what minute in between just uh, to recover and we could always end up doing like a four sets of 25 push-ups uh, we can do play with the, the plank just a isometric exercise that you hold the position on plank with the ball of your feet right on the floor uh, pose your forearms and then you keep an angle 180 degrees angle and then you stretch meditation um, simple things Jay uh, I don't know if you have uh, any different question. Yeah, I would like to uh, uh, a couple questions here. First off, uh, in this video, you kind of you can tell you're judging the distance when you push out your hand onto his chest. Can you explain the importance of doing that and why do you do that? Definitely, uh, great question. Uh, that was a drill that um, Vertex jumps on, uh, which is a. Uh, Coach, very respected, uh, Grandmaster Senior Grandmaster Johnson, who is a very, very uh, martial artist. And he always wanted their students be independent, uh, have uh, their own um, task, work always on something. So he said, like, when we press, we hold our adversary, it makes sure that we're aware of our surrounded. What is right back to me right now? What is on the lateral side? What is on my left? And also allows to place with the, the proper distance management, utilizing our reach to set up a cross, perhaps a, perhaps a left hook to follow, and then um, we could do the spinning heel kick uh, 360 that we just did at the um, combination. Yeah, I, I've uh, I've been to a couple of his classes, and he doesn't mess around. He's a very uh, well-respected Muay Thai artist um, and from Thailand, and uh, and yeah, I've 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 been at the uh, the end of his uh, brutality stick, if you will, of uh, not uh, training properly. He pulled out the stool and made me kick over it and everything in front of the whole class. But uh, great training, and and even I think he had a fight a few years ago. I saw a video of him, uh, fighting an older opponent. He's older now, retired, I believe, and. Man, he, he still put it on. But uh, Juan, another question on this video is, uh, uh, can you break down, I see you throw an elbow here. Can you break down the proper elbow? Because I know some go over the top, some go to the side. What is actually the proper movement of an elbow? Well, uh, in, in that specific uh, basic combination that I set up um, with my, uh, my teammate, you know, it's a um, businessman, uh, his name, uh, Francisco Gonzalez. He's, he's a, also a MMA coach. 
he was competitor. He went to uh, South America and Argentina uh, and competed, and he was successful. Uh, however, um, what was your question again? Uh, the proper form of an elbow, because, you know, a lot of people go side by side, you're kind of doing an over the top in this video. Um, what is the proper technique? Can you do both or should you stick to one? Uh, we could always uh, uh, talk, talk it out uh, in differently. However, in this specific combination, uh, in that day, uh, we were only doing the, the basic uh, over the top elbow which is, um, you get over with it, you know? It's so simple. Awesome. Well, do you have any other uh, techniques you'd like to go over for this video, Juan? Uh, guys, I will say every time you guys do this type of workout, make sure to uh, have your own time, your 10 minutes cool down situation. You know, a stretch, lay down on the ground, breathing exercise get back to you know uh, get off of the sports area and start the civilized area you know because at the end uh, you and i know these techniques are not made for a street fight this is made to be like a uh, doing something professional about it you know uh set up the meeting with the uh, hand wraps set up the meeting with uh, the glove set up the meeting with uh, your you know, um, your towel, everything you need to to be able to have fun during the workout, and that's a point of doing it. Awesome. Well, thanks, Juan. Again, that's uh, Move of the Week with Juan Nunez, Cesar Gracie Black Belt. I just want to give you a reminder to go ahead and hit the like below and also subscribe to our channel. We're going to have a Move of the Week every episode that releases on Tuesday, and also we're going to have the Move of the Week clips that release on Friday. So. You don't have to watch the whole podcast. You can just watch the move of the weeks with Juan on a release on Friday, but full podcast with the move of the week every Tuesday. Thanks Juan.